In this short iLearning video, we'll take an opportunity to look at working with caseware folders and binders. To begin, each user should set their profile to allow the capability to view caseware files. The user would select their user profile icon located in the top right corner of the screen. Next, navigate on the screen to the lower section of the screen. There is a setting that says Show Caseware Files. Go ahead and check that so that you will be able to view the caseware files uh, that you bring into iChannel and then save your profile. To begin, just locate the caseware file uh, folder or binder. In this case here, I have it on my desktop. Now, I'm just going to simply click on that folder or that binder. I'm going to drag it directly into iChannel into the drag and drop file area. Uh, in the background, you'll see those files are starting to upload. Once they have successfully uh, completed their upload, the Add Files window will appear. As you can see, it was uh, for my site, in this case, the Shelby Bridge CPA. Here's all of my caseware files um, from that binder that I uploaded. You can see them listed here. I'll go ahead and set my primary category. In this case, it'll be Audit. My secondary category in this example will be Caseware. You'll also see that it will create a new target subfolder. Uh, in this case, the folder or the binder that I did drag into iChannel was called Sample Caseware. If for any reason you need to make a change to that target subfolder, you could at this point in time. Uh, if there's any additional settings that you would like to make um, when you're bringing in these files, you can do so at this point in time. As you can see, it's going to process all those files in the background in case there's a large number of uh, caseware files that are being brought in. Just if you'd like to get an email when those files have successfully uploaded, go ahead and check that box. Then just go ahead and click the Add button. Now, as you remember, I did bring those files into the Audit Caseware location. I'll select the caseware. I'll go ahead and click on my Filter button to update that. And as you can see here, there's all of those caseware files that I have uploaded um, from my binder that I did through the drag and the drop. And, of course, there's a new icon here to let you know that's the caseware folder and binder. Hope you enjoyed this short little iLearning video on how to bring in caseware files or binders into iChannel using the drag and drop feature.